Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Tech Girl here, here to show you guys how to get some little accessories for your Camtasia Studio 7. Now, you will need Camtasia Studio 7 to get the sequence and the packages. I'm going to show you how to get, but they're really easy to get. I'm going to show you exactly how easy they are right after the intro. <laughs> So what you want to do is either click the link in the description or you can just open up your Camtasia Studio 7 if it's not already open and you want to click on your library tab right here and inside of here a lot of these are some preloaded stuff um, Camtasia Studio 7 comes with I believe it's five preloaded sequence um, which are really nice and you can also download some extras on their site all you have to do is right click somewhere in here and go down to get media online go ahead and click that and open up in uh, your web browser and I also have the link to this page in the description of the video if you guys just want to check it out before you download anything there we go now right here on this page it will show you um, they'll give you two steps on how to download how easy it is to download um, here are the five sequence that are included into these and then you have some extra ones this is the screenplay one I use for my intro if you guys want to download that you can do so on this web page they also have uh, this one this blast in box they also have some title clip packages some call out sequence assessments um, music track also I'm not exactly sure which one that is and then they also have some widescreen media sets the thing is that the resolution for them I believe most of them are 800 by 600 which isn't the right resolution for HD video so you will have to zoom in on it or just open it and um, edit the resolution for it which isn't that hard at all you also have some sketch motion call outs which are pretty neat and this is like the biggest package of them all which is this purple stripes which is okay it's I mean not everything on here is gonna be the best but they are usable um, I downloaded most of the ones I like already so I just need to download something really quick to show you guys how easy it is to download let's download I don't think I've downloaded this one and I would definitely recommend you go for the widescreen instead of the standard screen uh, just so it'll be easier to put it in HD so yeah let's go and download this one just hit download if you have Camtasia Studio I find it easier to download stuff and open it up as soon as it's download all you have to do is click on it any of you have your Camtasia Studio 7 open, it will just open right into there. Um, see right here it says input zip library files. Just click yes. Take nothing but a second really. I'm going to put it in. Okay, where did it go? Okay, I believe it's right here. And these are all the things that will come with it. You get some call out arrows uh, audio track you get some lower thirds if you don't want to make your own lower third these will come in handy I believe all the packages have lower thirds um, which is pretty neat and then you also have some image and some sequence some title clip sequence for the beginning of your videos which will come in handy for anyone who doesn't have all the time in the world to uh, create something like that but definitely will need it for a video of theirs now um, these bust in box and the screenplay one that is also used as my intro right here are the only ones I found that are in 720p which is weird um, so if you're looking for something 720p I would definitely recommend the two of these because those are the only ones I know that are for sure in 720p the others that I have tried which are all right here aren't in 720p which is upsetting you also have an uh, audio file there's a lot of things you can do with these um, the sequence are a lot easier to use you can either have a fading out sequence or just uh, audio sequence for intro outro or um, a 
transformation from one clip to another clip. Uh, so yeah, it's just that simple to easily get more and download them and install them right into your Camtasia Studio 7. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a comment down below on your feedback. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you dislike it, thumbs it down. And don't forget, if this one of your first videos of mine that you're watching and you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up above. It is much appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in my next tutorial, which should be out sometime later on this week, hopefully. Alright, guys. Peace out.